please, Matt. That's a bit echoey. Live on it at yeah. CCP. Yeah. <clears throat> We've got some of our young people here already. They've just had a, a rehearsal. Uh, and they've saved me having to get up here and speak. They're, uh, they're bringing the message this morning, so I'm really looking forward to that. How about you, Alan? Yeah, uh, very much looking forward to the service today. I so said, just as we're coming on, if you could pick us up on the feed and let us know you can see us okay and you can hear us okay. That's always comforting as we get started. I think we're, going, we're starting to appear now. And if, if you've just joined, um, I'd like to know if you think I should have a, if I need a haircut, yes. or do you think, <laughs> you know, it's still winter, keep the mop. You know, who needs a hat when you've got a mop of hair? You know, I'm sure Dylan's with me on that one. <laughs> Uh, Dylan's, Dylan works his a bit better though. His is more of a fro style, I think. But anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to check my hair. That's working on there. Just sorting out some technical uh, stuff. So yeah, when I was a kid, I used to, I used to not get haircuts very often. Kind of like right now. So my hair, like, can you imagine like a six-year-old woman running around with like hair bigger than this? It kind of like flop around like that and then every like maybe it's cut right down to number I think it was like number one so I was just pretty much bald with uh, running around uh, was could have looked a bit offensive as a six-year-old um, but uh, I think it looked more offensive now to be fair you know you need a you need a certain shape head to um, to be bald I think and I don't think I've got that shaped head it's kind of like a funny shaped head mine. But yeah, um, it's good to have you here. If you have joined in, you are punctual. Um, I'm not the most punctual guy all the time, but I'm trying to improve, you know. I don't know, I'll ask the young people, am I on time, guys, most of the time? Or? Yeah. yeah, most of the time, good, good, good. That's what I'd like to hear. Um, if you know any young people, I'd like to advertise, especially if you are year nine and under, I'd like to advertise our Youth Alpha. Um, it's just started this week, uh, but if you know any, any young person that could be interested, send them along my way or Steph's way, um, and we can get them connected into our Youth Alpha over Zoom. It's really cool. We um, started and we had a bunch of new people come along, uh, and we've got some more new people coming next week so good effort to the juniors inviting them to our youth alpha because that's what it's all about you know when you got something good you got to share it um like a cake or like maybe not like a sausage and egg mcmuffin you don't want to really want to share that maybe buy another one to share but uh it's on my mind because dylan had a sausage and egg mcmuffin this morning and yeah. i thought would have been good to share one with him. It's very good. So good morning, especially good morning to those of you who just joined on my Facebook live stream. We've now got that working and a little bit of a connection issue initially, but I think that's fixed itself now. So that's good. Yeah, so a very warm welcome to mm. Christchurch Pennington. We're in the ramp up towards our 10.30 service. It's all age, which is why I've got the, the rather handsome, with, with a, a rather ample head of hair, it has to be said, uh, Wiramu Kingi, good morning everybody. Yes, he is indeed here. And we're joined yeah. by some of our young people. Should we, should we stick the conquer cam on, as I like to call it? Yeah, stick the conquer cam on. Who, who, who are on. here? Let's uh, switch the conquer cam. Hang who on, where's that? Who have we got here? Uh, oh yeah, we'll get you to give, give a wave when we mention There we go. go. Give us give a wave, guys. guys. So, to the give us a wave. wave. Oh, there's Daniel. Hey, there's Daniel. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got, at the front here, we've got Jack Murden. Anna Leakey, a.k.a. Jesus, this morning. She's in a drama. <laughs> uh, Sabina Skimbiski. And then at the back, Dylan O'Brien. Lovely wave there. With a slightly more fashionable mop than my, my own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's really good to have them here. As, as usual, every month they've been smashing it. We've come a long, we've come a long way, haven't we? We've done All Ages we have. for a while now. Almost a whole year you guys have been involved in the All Ages. Yeah, like over I mean, lockdown. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's probably coming up to, to a year since um, we we started the first lockdown. Actually, so it's, mm. it's a monumental occasion as well. Um, so, so we start the service at half ten, um, and um, we've got our welcome team 
I'll just introduce those to you today. So uh, we've got uh, Sheila and Stu um, outside and then Charlotte, Heather and Beryl with us in church here this week. And then online on the various Facebook and YouTube feeds, we've got Katie, Viv, Joan and Alan and Judith. So a very warm welcome to our welcome team uh, here this morning as well. Um, and so if you're arriving on the chat, we, we like lots of interaction and you've got access to that, then stick a hello on there, um, put your greetings on, let us know how you're doing. It's kind of like the virtual uh, church social area where we arrive and we, we might not be able to, to, to look on each other's gaze in quite the same way, but the chat's the next best thing and hopefully it won't be too long before we can start ramping up the numbers in church and seeing one another a bit more regularly. Or you could be that person that kind of sits in the corner in the foyer and just watches everyone else chat, like those people who just kind of speak, mm. take the chat. That's right. And kind of people watch uh, and eavesdrop on the chat. Yeah. <laughs> in this in this case, you can you can see and eavesdrop on everyone's yeah. chat. That's right. You can. Yeah, yeah. You can. Um, so good morning, Alan, Sheila, and Joan. Um, Emma, nice to have you with us, Emma. Um, Joey. Joey G, <laughs> I think I know who that is. Um, Dave and Are Barbara, Joey, lovely to have you with us. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've booked my haircut. Have you? Yeah, yeah. The big for cheer what day? goes up. When is yes, this happening? I have for the twelfth of April, which I think is um, the day when the haircuts um, come live again. Is that the right way of putting it? Haircuts On the 12th come of live. April. 12th of April. Oh, okay, I'll get yeah. a book in. Um, and uh, I'm going to get rid of the lockdown locks. See what I did there. Yeah, you know, I want to put this yeah. to the comments as well and to our live congregation. Do you yeah. think Alan, I like Alan's locks actually. Do you think they bet? I yeah. spoke to someone, Alan, and they said they liked them as well. Maybe it was Sheila Espinall. I don't know. Don't, yeah. don't quote me on that. You know, My wife are... keeps giving me funny looks and then <laughs> laughing at me for some reason. It's very disconcerting, actually. Oh. You know, she sort of looks and I can tell she's looking at my hair, not at me. <laughs> Normally she gazes lovingly into my eyes, but she's definitely looking at my hair. And then she sort of grins and nods her head and walks away laughing. Kind of reminds me of, um, you know, those like uh, busts of Caesar. Um, you know, if you've mm. seen the movie Gladiator, you know, oh, yes. they, have, they have kind of curls like that. Yeah, they did actually, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Back in the yeah. Day. yeah. I wonder yeah, if they were, they were real or they permed back then. Or maybe they were just engraved, what, what they call it when you do sculptures. Maybe they were just sculptures. Maybe they were all bald. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just too. added by the sculpture. <laughs> it's the, uh, the ancient <laughs> version of the filter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the ancient filter. Can I have uh, a nice... Whom, please, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sculptor, or Mrs. Sculptor, or Miss Sculptor. It'll take some time. <laughs> well, so we've got our all age this week, and um, we are starting this new sermon series looking at Jesus, um, the I Am, the, the seven sayings in John's Gospel. We've just finished the seven signs or miracles in John's Gospel, and now we've moved on to the seven sayings in John's Gospel, and we're, we're starting out with Jesus saying, I am the light of the world, and considering mm. what that means in terms of he said that of himself, what did he mean by saying that, and also what it means for, for us now, and uh, so our amazing youth team here have been working away behind the scenes preparing this. Yeah, with the, with the senior soul group, we've been looking into... Um, every week from now until Easter, we're going to be looking into how to develop our relationship with God. And I think this really plays well into yeah, the theme. Yeah, that's great. You know? uh, last week, we talked about prayer. Uh, and the week before that, we talked about worship. Um, and we've got Pauline Heaton and Simon Bennett in um, helping us out. So some real, uh, what are they called? Heavy hitters. You know, Pauline has uh, got loads of experience in running, doing youth work and Si is a bit of a genius and he's into history. Dylan, you've got to speak to this guy. Mm. Dylan is a history buff as well. Yeah, that's but yeah, absolutely it's, amazing. It's really encouraging, you know, seeing our young people engage with um, these topics. Yeah. I think. And I just love the way this is kind of like, you know, an outworking of that, you know, that mm. we're benefiting as a church, as an overall church community from the, the focus you guys have put into this area and developing this and the thinking behind it and how you've sought God's inspiration in putting the messages together for today. So, yeah, I'm really excited to hear what you've got to say. 
I think one of the other things about these OA services is that we try and make them as, as inclusive as people across the community oh, totally, of the yeah. church as we possibly can do. Mm -hmm. So we've got a few people who've sent videos in and stuff like that, haven't we? We're yeah, we do. Yeah, it's, it's great um, that you used to be a part of the Scouts, Alan. Yeah. Uh, and you've shown those skills many a time in um, my experience around you. Uh, unfortunately, they haven't rubbed off on me, but I'll, hopefully I'll get there. Um, but yeah, so we've got some scouts really involved this time. Uh, I really look forward to you guys seeing the scouts do the Lord's Prayer. So they've, each, each of these, this crew has done a line from the Lord's Prayer. Um, we've made a video uh, with that all together. Mm. So it's, it's cool. And not, not only that, they've learned, is it called Makaton? Makaton, yeah. Makaton kind of like a sign, sign language. language. Yeah. So as well as saying each of the lines of the Lord's Prayer, they're also signing it reminds it me of like a, a, an action movie where you've got like yeah. Navy SEALs or something and they're like, <laughs> you know. Yes. Yeah, I think one of, of the thing. things is, I just, I just thought of this now actually, is that we, we've, we've been doing the signs, the Aye. seven signs, and now we're going on to the seven <laughs> sayings. And in the Lord's Prayer, they're doing the signing and the saying of it. How cool is that? That is awesome. Yeah. The dead jokes Only I would edge. have thought of that, says Anna. <laughs> Very good, yes. <laughs> True. So there we go, the signs and sayings exemplified in the Scouts' rendition of the Lord's Prayer. How amazing is that? Yeah, yeah. And, and we've, we've also got... We've managed to we've get got? Christchurch Penning, uh, Primary... It's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Christchurch Pennington Primary yeah. Ethos Group. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got Sabina to say that this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sabina. So we've got one member from that group. Um, and then we've got from our Sunday groups, we've been meeting every Sunday uh, over Zoom with our Sunday groups. And yeah. Two members from that group, Xander Shenton and Emery Marsh, they're going to be leading us in some prayers. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to, before we get our young people up, Ellen, I just want to mention that uh, Zoom call and how fun it's been. We've been uh, every week learning a, a new action for the song My Lighthouse. We haven't learned it all yet, but uh, they've been real troopers um, and we've almost learned it all. And Man, I remember when we finished uh, singing and dancing all these actions for My Lighthouse last Sunday, we stopped, we all gathered our breath, and I think it was Sophie Hampson, she said, that was fun! And I was like, yeah, it was, Sophie. Um, you know, and that energy I do enjoy. I wonder if I could get the senior soul group to make a video of them uh, doing the My Lighthouse actions. I'm not sure. I don't know, are seniors too cool for that, or are they... Uh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Right. So a few, a few comments on. Nice to Jane over in York. Nice to have you watching, Jane. She says, can you, what did she say? Can you put a ribbon in your hair yet? Or wear a ponytail yet? <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going down the ponytail route. I, I think it's curly top. <laughs> Helen, Helen likes it. Thank you, Helen. And James I um, do that much. says they use Makaton every day with their son, Jacob. Um, and so he will be checking if it is right when it comes to the Lord's Prayer as well. So that's good. Br brilliant to hear that. Oh, good. Um, yeah. So, and of course we've got, um, My Lighthouse is a fantastic song, Miriam says. Yeah, and we've got a bit like that beacon of light, the cross at the top of the church tower mm. as well um, for, for everyone to see. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just like that. There we go. The cross shining oh, out. Great transition. Illuminated there. like my lighthouse on the top of the church tower there. It is shining. Speaking of light, Ellen, yeah. I've got a question for you. Uh, actually, Sabina's got a question for us. Would you rather. Yeah. Would you rather walk in the light but alone? Ooh. Or walk in darkness but with someone. Is that, that's what it was, wasn't it, Sabina? Walking the light alone. Oh, that's a really hard that's choice to make. That's a tough one, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. I'm just going to go off my first hunch. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just go, I oh, know, I don't, yeah, take this as you will. I think I'd just like to walk in the light. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I could catch up with someone later. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But that, that'd be me. I'd rather yeah. be in the light. I, you know, I've stubbed my toe on the corners of couches and tables yeah. too many times. Yeah to want to do that in front of someone in the darkness you know yeah so i'd go light alone yeah at least walking in the darkness alone isn't one of the options anyway. no yeah yeah um so should we get some of the other guys up and see yeah sure what, what they do 
Who are we going to have up first then? Let's have up. I think I think I want to end with Jack though. Oh, but we can't. Oh. Uh, let's go alphabetically. Yeah. We've got Jack, Anna. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> okay. A round of applause, please, for Anna Leakey. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, hi. Hi, Anna. Hello. So, how are you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that as, yeah, I'm all right then. Sure. So, would you rather uh, walk in <clears throat> the light alone or walk in the darkness but with someone? What would your choice be? I'd have to agree with Wiramu because if I was in the dark, I'd have to find a corner and just sit there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you would definitely walk in the light alone. Yeah. So. I'd like to be able to see. You. <laughs> this week has been uh, World Book Day, hasn't it? Yes. And we were talking a bit about this when we were running through our um, rehearsal because, yeah, believe it or not, we do rehearse these services. And we had a fantastic time on Friday running through that. And we, yeah. we thought, wouldn't it be interesting to sort of share um, something about books and World Book Day? Um, so the question um, I'd like you to think about, Anna, and, and anybody at home, you're welcome to join in with this and put it on the chat, is if uh, you had the opportunity to be a character in a book, actually, so you're actually in the story in a book, which book and which character would you go for? I don't even need to think about that. I don't know why I paused. Mm. Um, I'd be in the Sherlock series and I'd either be Watson or Mary. Ooh, why is that then? Because I don't want to take the light away from Sherlock. I'm not Sherlock. Yeah. <laughs> and Watson's just a good character. Yeah. And they basically just kill off Mary. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I wouldn't mind me in the character they get So that would be pretty cool to yeah. be involved with that. Excellent. And what are you doing in the service today, Anna? I am playing Jesus. You're playing Jesus, of course you are. The light of the world. We will look forward to that. A bit of drama as part of the service. Let's hear it for Anna. Thanks, Anna. Bye. Now, who's next up? Let's get Dylan up. Come on down, Dylan. It's a bit like one of those game shows, this, isn't it? You know, our next contestant is Dylan. Whoa! So, a very good morning to you, sir. How are you this morning? I'd say rather splendid, yeah. Rather splendid. I have to say, your hair is looking particularly splendid at the moment. I, I, I think between us, we're starting a bit of a, let's just go for it. Lockdown locks. Might yeah. As well, yeah. Yeah. Have you booked a haircut? Or are you no. sticking with it? I'm, I'm going to stick with it just to see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be watching with interest. I, I, I don't know really. I think I might be. Uh, what do you, th do you think? Do you think I should have it cut or do you think no, I should leave it growing? You should keep it. You should grow it out more. You should grow it out more. Yeah. Ponytail at the back. Do you think? Mullet. Mullet. Yeah. Mullet. <laughs> oh wow, Dylan. Oh, it's so good to have you with us here uh, today. So the question we're asking. Would you rather walk in uh, the light alone or in the darkness with someone? Well, the previous two answers, obviously, both agreed. I'm going to disagree. I'd rather be with someone in the dark. It, but someone in the dark? Yes. Good answer. Um, any particular reason on that? What's your rationale? Because it'd be funny. It'd be funny? Yeah. It'd be funny. Kind of... Well, you could like, randomly tap the person on the shoulder and pretend it wasn't Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. You could play all sorts of tricks on them. Exactly. Yeah. Or they might play them on you as well. And that's that, the other that side. Still be yeah, fun. yeah. And also, like, we're naturally social creatures at the end of the day. Yeah. So being, like, ah, being alone for too long would be bad for your mental health. Oh, I knew there'd be some deep philosophical thought coming from this man. Very good, very good. So let's see what your answer is to this next question then. <laughs> so say this week's been World Book Day, and um, within uh, World Book Day, uh, everyone's been dressing up as the characters and stuff like that. I think in, in the, I don't know how it's worked in home, homeschooling. The people done it at home and shown it on the, the Zoom call or whatever. I don't know. Um, but the question we're asking, um, and that's for anybody at home as well as you now, is if you had that opportunity to be a character in any book of your choice, who would you go for? Uh. I'd go, for the book, I'd go for The Strange Tale of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Ooh. And I'd be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You'd be them both. Yeah. Two characters well, for the price of one. Technically speaking, yeah. the same person, so therefore it's allowed. Yeah, yeah. And I think it'd just be pretty cool. That'd be cool. 
I mean, it probably wouldn't be, but I think it might. Yeah, yeah. Well, it'd be one way of finding out, that's for sure. Exactly. Yeah? Don't knock it till you try it. Yeah, that's true. So, what, what are you doing in the service today? I'm speaking. You're speaking? Yes. By Jove. Well, we'll look forward to hearing from you. You've been working hard behind the scenes, preparing for it, I think, haven't you? Very. Yeah? Oh, that's good. We really appreciate that. Thank you for your work on that, that Dylan. Now, um, one of the other things uh, I've written, we have a, a newsletter each week that goes around everybody, and I put in there that we've been approached by Wigan Council to consult with us um, in our young, young people linked in with the church on, on these plans potentially to build a youth zone mm -hmm. in Lee. Um, what have you learned about that? Because I think you, you've been along representing the yeah. youth here at yeah. those meetings, haven't you? Yeah, so we had a like a sort of meeting consultation style thing. Yeah. Uh, I believe last week, forgot what day. It's very extremely formal. Yeah. It was like so we, we came in there's this huge like round table. Yeah. And everyone's dressed in like suits and had their hair back and all the youth were dressed fairly nice and I was there with bed head and a hoodie and a tracksuit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think we, we were shown some blueprints of the complex that's going to be built in the Sports Village area. Yeah. It looks like very nice, very modern. Yeah. Uh, then we were proposed uh, what would we like in the and they already had some ideas of what uh, they had in there and they asked our opinions on it. Uh, we served coffee in too, it's quite nice, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it looks good. I say watch this space. Most yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And did they give you any idea as to when it might happen? Uh, no. No. If they did, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, I think they've obviously found some funding and opportunity to move with it, and that's yeah. why they're pushing through quite quickly um, on the consultation. So hopefully that's a good sign. Hopefully yeah, that there is a great resource. Well, thanks again for, for representing us and our young people um, at those consultations. And I think there might be some more coming up in the future. Yeah, I think there's, there's, there's uh, yeah, several they, sort of stages to it. They said they have plans... Uh, to do another consultation soon, but with more youth there. Right. There's the thing they said about 20, if I remember yeah. correctly, depending on lockdown and yeah. COVID restrictions. Yeah, and I, I was in contact with them uh, about it, actually, uh, the back end of last week. And uh, one of the things I suggested is, why don't they do some consultation through the high schools in the area? Some of these high schools have school councils or those sorts of bodies, don't they, that, that could be a good uh, a resource to make use of in that way. So I think that they're, they're going to follow up on that. And of course, schools return Indeed, tomorrow. Are you back in tomorrow? Uh, yes. Yeah? Looking forward to it? Yes. Yeah? I'm very excited to get a cotton swab shoved up my nose too. Of course, yeah. yeah Nothing quite sure. like a uh, COVID test, is there, to yeah. start the day? Yeah. Yeah. Gets you moving. Yeah, gets, sure. gets you moving. <laughs> well, wonderful. Thanks so much, Dylan. We look forward to hearing from you later in the service. Who is next? Sabina, come on down. <laughs> Sabina, good morning. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Now, so the question we're asking, would you rather walk in the light alone or in the darkness with someone? I would personally have to pick in the darkness with someone. Right. Because if you come across anything that doesn't really work well, any problems or anything, you have someone to help you with it. Yeah. You don't have to go through it, it okay. alone or something. Okay, so you could be that someone with Dylan then, couldn't you? Yeah? yeah. Playing tricks on him. Probably. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and World Book Day. If you could pick a character in any book, who would you pick which book? To be fair with you, with the amount of books that I read, I have no clue. You have no clue? Nobody? No, not really. No, not really. Nobody? What do you think of the other ideas we've heard so far? Have no clue for that. Jekyll and Hyde. No? no clue at all. No clue. No. no clue. Tell us then, what are you doing in the service today? Well, I'm going to come on. Well, I'm not going to come on, but I'm going to say a memory verse and get everybody to memorize yeah. it. Yeah. We'll try and do that. Yeah. And I'm going to do a little warm up at the beginning to get everybody ready for everything. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, we look forward to seeing and hearing that later. Thanks so much, Sabina! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Next up is Daniel. Daniel, come on down. Yeah! Good morning, Daniel. How are you today? I'm good. You're good? Yes. 
and what you're looking forward to most about church today. This, let me see. Who's that? My brother. It's you with your brother. That's a nice picture, isn't it? Very nice picture of Daniel with his brother. There you are. Look after that. It's a treasure. Well, and what, what are you looking forward to at church today? God. God. Meeting God. What an answer. Fantastic. Well, um, if you had a choice, Daniel, think about this now. If you had a choice, you could either walk in the light alone or walk in the darkness with someone. What would you pick? Walk in the darkness. Walk in the darkness with someone. Yeah. Why? Why would you want to be with someone? Friends. Friends. Because yeah. you'd have friends with them. Brilliant. Let's hear it for Daniel. Well done, Daniel. Give us a bow. Give us a wave at the camera. Give us a wave. Yes. Fantastic. And last but by no means least. Jack Murden, come on down, Jack! Woo -hoo -hoo. Hello. Good morning, sir. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Your hair's looking good, may Thank I say. You. Yeah. It's um, the result of ignoring it for about three months. Is it? Yeah. It's quite a good strategy. <laughs> I might follow that myself. Oh, hang on a minute. I already am. Yep. <laughs> so if you had the choice, Jack, of walking in the light alone or in the darkness with someone, what would you pick? I'd definitely go in the light alone because I quite like my own company. Okay. Um, and then in the dark. It's dark, isn't it? You can't see anything. Don't yeah. Like, don't like not being able to see. Yeah. Yeah. So in the light, but on your own. In the light, in good yourself. company, you can see what you're doing. Yeah. You can see where you're going. Yeah, exactly. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. So this week's been World Book Day. We're inviting people to say if they had um, a choice to pick a book and a character in that book that they could be and live out that adventure. What would you pick? Um, I mean, this was really difficult because most of the books I read, something goes horribly wrong, and so I'd rather not be that. But yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> In the end, I went with a series called, I think it's called The Vega Jane Chronicles. I'm not actually sure. Um, yeah. David Baldacci did it as like a young adult's one, and she's got to go and... It's the usual person has to go save the world and defeat the bad guys, essentially. Yeah. But that sounds quite fun, because she can fly and things. So, so you would take on that, that character? Yeah, definitely. A kind of a superhero sort of, set yeah, of skills. Sort of like a fantasy superhero-y yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see, wouldn't it? Yeah. I must admit. Yeah, it'd be fun if you had one choice of a superpower to go for, what, what, what do you think it would be? Ooh, I mean, I like, this, I like the sound of flying. That sounds fun. Sound of flying? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to be able to fly. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't be one of those crazy base jumpers that wears one of those suits with the wings built in. And oh, you I'd just... actually be up for giving that a go. You'd be up for giving it a yeah, go? Yeah, I am slightly mad. Blimey, so. don't tell your mum. Hopefully she's not watching. <laughs> So, what are you doing in the service today? What are you doing in the service today? Uh, I'm doing sort of the linky bits, the in-betweens, and then I'm also doing the confession, which is slightly terrifying, but yeah. we shall see. Oh, we really look forward to that. Thanks so much, Jack. All right. Okay, we're removing you coming back up for a minute? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, Jack. Let's hear it for Jack. Good morning. All right, a very warm welcome if you're joining us on the live stream. We'll be starting the service in two or three minutes, um, half ten-ish. Um, people are just arriving in the church now, and I know lots of people are, are uh, watching online. If you've just arrived and you want to put hello on the chat and just greet one another, that's always fantastic. We love lots of interaction like that. And it's all age this week, isn't it? We're it is all age. So we've got all of, loads of children and loads of young people uh, contributing to today's service. So it's, uh, it's, it's going to be entertaining, I think, Ellen. Oh, it is. It is. And, and educational at the same time, mm, mm, mm. both entertaining and ed educational. I'll, I'll, I'm just going to stick on, on the conquer cam here, uh, we're removing. Yeah, yeah, stick and, it on. Uh, yeah, show us uh, yeah. our young people. Uh, and, uh, there we yeah, go. Fix up your hair. There we go. Give us a wave, guys. guys. <laughs> so they're, they're uh, sat, sat, ready, ready to, start. to start. Give us a wave. Brilliant. Give us a wave. Brilliant. Ready uh, in, in church. church. Ready, ready to start, start our, our service. service in a few, in a few minutes, minutes time. time. Very good. I can't think of my favourite book character, Ellen, after that. Oh, there. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, would you rather be... And I was like, Harry Potter, what's another book I know? The Bible. Jesus. <laughs> but mm. I think I'd like to be one of those, like, animal guys in, uh, 
in the, the Narnia books. You know, the, in the movies, I know, there was one guy yeah. that had horns and like was really like strong and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe I'd want to be him. <laughs> yeah, I could see you as one of those as well, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Or Legolas, you know, in Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. The guy yeah. that shoots the arrows. Oh, yeah, yeah. that'd be cool. Some do, skills. Do backflips and yeah. take out orcs. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I know. Well, fantastic. Of course, that was the link with World Book Day, which took place this week, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think we're, we're just about at the bottom of the hour, which we means we should make a start with our service today. Let's do it. I'm really yeah? excited. I'm not going to be up until the very end. No. It's all over to it's the all, young people. It's all the young people this morning, which is fantastic. So, they work really hard at it. So, just get together in the right place before we start the service. We'll have a, a few moments uh, quiet and then uh, we'll get cracking. Thank you. And good morning and a very warm welcome to Christ Church Pennington for our All Age service. Good morning, Jack. Morning. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you very much. So you're going to introduce the service for us today. Go for it. So, as Alan's just said, big welcome to everybody. Um, And today's service is going to be all about Jesus being the light of the world. And so, to kick things off, we have got a prayer which should be coming up on the screen at any moment now. So... Jesus, light of the world, we welcome you here today. Open our eyes to see you, that we may worship and adore you. Amen. So, as I just said, sermon today is all about light, and that helps us to see. So let's sing, Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord. Thank you. my heart 
Everybody's having a good day today, even if you're in church or at home. I hope you're having a good morning. Now, I'm gonna need you to imagine some things as a warm up. Get everything ready, our brains ready for the entire service for the day. I'm gonna have you to imagine some things and agree with me if they will be helpful or not. It's all about light today. So, for now, I want you to imagine that you're at home. You're going to sleep, you're fast asleep in your bed. And then you wake up and you don't know what's going on. Everything's dark in your room, you can't see anything. Would this be helpful? Yeah. Yeah. It would be good news, wouldn't it? As you would be able now to see everything. Then imagine you are now in a forest somehow, you got there. And it's getting dark outside, it's night, and you can't see the path. Would this light come in handy? Oh, yes. It would be a good news. Because you would now be able to see the path, you won't trip over anything. <laughs> now, as one of the last things, I would like you to imagine that you're the captain of a ship. At sea, at night, you're going to the shore, but you don't want to hit any rocks. Would this come in helpful? Oh, yes. It would be helpful, because now you won't have to deal with any rocks and hitting them or anything. In many different situations we find ourselves in, we know light is good because it makes it possible for us to see something. Jesus said something very interesting about himself. He said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. Jesus being the light of the world is good news for each one of us. During this service we are going to discover a little more about what that means. And as a starter of that, we are going to have a little PowerPoint by learning a memory verse. Basically, if you can remember from last time, or if you can't, that's fine. Some words are going to come up on the screen somewhere, on one of the screens in church, or at home you will sit somewhere on that side of the screen. I'm going to say some words, and I'm going to want you to repeat them after me, and see if you can start remembering them. We're going to do this three times, but the third time we won't have words. So shall we try that? I am, I am the light of the world. The light of the world. Whoever follows me. Whoever follows me. Will never walk in darkness. Will never walk in darkness. But will have light of life. But will have the light of life. John chapter eight verse twelve. John chapter eight verse twelve. Thank you. Well that. So. As Sabine just told us, and as we're all going to try and remember, um, Jesus said that he is the light of the world. But he didn't just say that to us through the Bible. He said that to the whole Jewish community, to all the people who were there at the time. When the rabbis heard him saying that, they heard him saying that he was God. Because they'd read the Psalms, like King David said, that the Lord is my light and my salvation, who shall I fear? When the ordinary Jews heard him saying that, They were reminded of the God who was a leading light to their ancestors when they wandered the wilderness, a God who went before them as a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire. And so to learn a bit more about that last story, we're going to read the Bible from Exodus 13, read to us by Rhys. Thank you. By day, the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel by day or night. Neither the pillar of cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night, left its place in front of the people. Thank you, Rhys. Now, when Jesus said, I am the light of the world, whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The people would have heard Jesus claiming to be God the God who kept their ancestors safe from the dangers in the wilderness. As you can imagine, 
Wandering around in the wilderness, in the dark, would have been very dangerous. There'd have been all sorts of physical dangers, like deadly animals and poisonous plants. The pillar of fire at night especially helped people to keep on the safest path, full of docile animals and beautiful plants. However, Jesus didn't come to keep us safe from the physical dangers. Uh, uh, he came to lead us to the safest path that one day will lead us to heaven with him. The path that avoids the spiritual danger of being separated from our Father God for all eternity. So, the first thing we can say is that if we follow Jesus, the light of the world, we sh he shall lead us on the safest path through life, like the lighthouse that keeps the ship on the safest path. And now to help with our worship, we will now sing My Lighthouse. Thank you. Jesus says that if we follow him, wait, am I reading the right bit? I am, good. Jesus said if we follow him, we will live a life of light. He will keep us on the safe path in the same way that a torch 
can keep you on track if you're walking through the woods. We will never walk in darkness if we're walking with Jesus. But it can be hard to find your way in the dark with no light. Imagine being blind, living your entire life without being able to see. One day, Jesus met a blind man, and this is what happened. Today, I want each one of you to imagine that you're part of a large crowd and you've been following Jesus all day. Some words are going to come up on the screen, and I want you to speak them out with me as loudly as you can. Oh, and who have we here? It's Blind Bill. He's begging again. He's been blind since he was born, and the only way he can make a living is by begging. Oh, and hang on a moment. I think that might be Jesus. He's approaching Jericho. wonder if he's going to be up to anything today. It's Jesus. Welcome to Jericho. Welcome to Jericho. What? What's going on? Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Jesus? Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. How dare you, de- How dare you shout at Jesus? Be quiet, Bill. Show some respect. Get a grip. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. What do you want from me? Oh, gosh. Lord, I want to see. Receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. I can see. I can see. It's Jesus. I can see. Praise God Almighty, I can see. Thanks, Jesus. All right. (laughs) Praise God. Praise him who makes the blind to see. And so now, after that, we've got Dylan coming up for the second part of the talk. Thank you. When the blind man encountered Jesus, Jesus made it possible for the blind man to see. Imagine what it must have been like for him to see the sun for the first time, to see the sky for the first time, to see Jesus for the first time. It must have been like being in a dark room, then suddenly someone turns the light on. The blind man's life was totally changed. No longer did he have to walk in darkness. He could now see and walk in the light. Jesus is the one who helps us to see too. Many of us are not physically blind, however, many of us are spiritually blind and in darkness till Jesus opens our spiritual eye. When Jesus does this, we are able to see God as he really is. His goodness, his love, his holiness, his beauty. When Jesus does this, we're able to see the darkness of the sin that we walk in, the darkness of greed, the darkness of lies, the darkness of selfishness and the darkness of jealousy. If we choose to follow Jesus, he promises us that we will never walk in darkness. We will see things how they really are. But sometimes, if we're honest, we prefer to walk in darkness. Let's see what James is up to in this video. James? James? Oh, there you are, James. It's been ages. I've heard you haven't been joining the Sunday group Zoom calls lately. I know, Grandad. It seems like ages. And you're normally really engaged with church, James, but recently you've been a bit distant. What's going on? Oh, this and that, Grandad. How about telling me about this and that, James? Just stuff, Grandad. James, I may be getting old. I'm not stupid. What's the problem? The vicar, Grandad. Oh, right. What's the vicar done now? I'm an earwig, Grandad. Do you know me? An earwig, James? What are you talking about? Earwig go, earwig go, earwig go. Okay, that's enough, James. Now, I know you like football, but what's all this nonsense about an earwig? Earwigs live in the dark, Grandad, and they do not like you to come out into the light. I'm an earwig! James, have you been watching some strange nature programmes recently? No, Grandad, but I'm an earwig. It was do not like the light, and the vicar said that he's going to ask Jesus to come with his great big light 
and show up all of our sins. Ah, I see. Now things are becoming clearer. Granddad, what if Jesus shows up one Sunday and tells everyone about all the wrong things I've done? There are so many that I would die of embarrassment. That's why I haven't been coming to church. I'm an earwig. Oh, James, Jesus isn't like that. He loves you so much that he wouldn't want to humiliate you in front of everybody else. He wants to bring you freedom from the wrong things that you've done. Not shame, but it's only in his presence that we can see those wrong things. That's why he's sometimes described as a light. Oh, I see, so I don't need to hide anymore. Now, shall we see, uh, see you next, church, next Sunday in church? Now that we've sorted this one out? Um, I'm not sure the vicar will want me in church anymore. Oh, what do you mean, James? Of course he will. I left him a little present in the pockets of his cassock. Go on. Earwigs, Grandad, earwigs! Oh, James! <laughs> so, well, I don't fully agree with leaving earwigs in the vicar's cassock. <laughs> James was right about one thing. God does want to come show us our sins, but he wants to show us them so that we can confess them and turn away from them and give them to him. So, in front of you on the pews, or on the screen at home, there should be a piece of paper, or just some words. Um, and so we're gonna pray that together now. So, in the light of your presence, Jesus, show us the sins we need to confess to you and turn away from, amen. So now let's listen to what Jesus is saying to us. Take a moment and as you're reminded of the sins that you need to confess, write them down on a piece of paper, draw them, or just, if you don't have a piece of paper, hold them in your head and think about them. Meditate on them, give them to God. This is just between you and him, so nobody else will see this. So I'll give you a moment now and write them down or think about those sins. So let's, well, if you've all written everything down, let's pray. Lord, we confess that we have thought, said, and done. We are really sorry and turn away from these sins. Please forgive us and set us free to walk in the light. Amen. So now fold that paper. Fold it in half, place it on the pew in front of you, or throw it across the room, or drop it on the floor, whatever. Get rid of it, or let that thought go, uh, showing that you have given those sins to God. You've put them in the light of Jesus, and they are now forgiven. And as God has forgiven all those sins, we should worship him for that. Worship how much he loves us, and how much we love him, by singing how deep the Father's love for us. Thank you.
just going to try and repeat the memory verse once again and then we're gonna have a few more videos and then we're gonna try and do it again but without the words and see who can remember it if you can't don't worry it's fine at least you tried so repeat after me i am, I am the light of the world the light of the world whoever follows me whoever follows me will never walk in darkness will never walk in darkness but we'll have the light of life. But we'll have the light of life. John chapter 8, verse 12. John chapter 8, verse 12. Well done. Now, I'm going to have Phoebe finish the talk for today. So far, we have discovered that Jesus, the light of the world, will lead us on the safe path through life. Like a lighthouse, he helps us see things as they really are, so that we are not walking in the darkness. And finally, Jesus, light of the world, promises us his presence and that he will never leave us. When the Israelites were in the wilderness, God never left them. He was with them through the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night to give them light. He gave them comfort and hope in the darkest times and showed them how much he cared for his people. Just like the cross on top of our church spreading hope for all of Lee and this candle representing hope for all who sees it. The pillars reminded the Israelites that God was with them and watching them. When Jesus was born, one of the names he was given was Emmanuel, meaning God with us. If we follow Jesus, he is promised to never leave us. He said in Matthew 28 verse 40, that as surely as I am with you to the very end of age. We need may not be able to see Jesus with our physical eyes but he is with us through the power of the Holy Spirit. When we have Jesus living so close to us we don't need to be afraid of anything because he is God, he is powerful and he is good. Thank you. Thank you very much for that Phoebe. Now we're going to have the song Be Still for the Presence of the Lord and we are going to worship on it. Still for 
the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Come bow before Him now with reverence and fear. In Him no sin is found. We stand. presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Be still for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. He burns with holy fire, with splendor He is crowned. Still for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. Be still for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. He comes to cleanse and heal, to minister. to the memory verse one last time without the words now and I think we shall try and say it all together this time at a slow, slow pace all together and see who can remember it and if you don't just try and catch up with everyone so let's try that I am, I am the, light the light of the, of the world, world. Whoever, whoever follows me will never, never walk, walk in darkness, darkness but, but will have, have the light of, of life, life. John, John chapter, chapter 8, 8 verse 12. 12. Yes, well done for that. I think most people could remember it from here and from home. So that's good. Next, we're just going to have to listen to some prayers from Christ Church Primary Ethos Group, from Sander Shinton, and from Emery Marsh. Thank you. Praising Jesus for who he is, you are the light of the world, help us follow you. We pray for those who do not yet know you, those who are spiritually blind. Lord, lead them on the path towards you, you are the light of the world, help them follow you. Dear Lord, we pray for those who lead us and those who are responsible for keeping us safe. There is so much happening in our world and our country right now and we ask that you will always be in control. Please give our Prime Minister and the Government your knowledge and understanding of how to deal with everything. Help the police to be understanding when on duty. Please help Alan, Adam and Wormu and their families to have enough energy to do all the extra things needed during this COVID-19. And lastly, Lord, we pray for our Queen at this very hard time. Please give her and all her family strength and comfort and be with Prince Philip at this time. You are the light of the world. Help them follow you. Amen. And so now we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer, said and signed by the Scouts. Thank you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy, 
will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Today our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. For ever and ever. Amen. Brilliant. Thanks so much to the 18th Lee uh, Scout Group for that. Sorry, the sound is a little bit behind the video, but it's all in front of the video. We'll just continue in our prayers, praying for people on our list of needs for prayer this week. We pray particularly today for Margaret Atkinson, for Jim Prescott. We pray for Richard Armstrong, Ray Bowers, and Alison Urquhart, for Heather and Geoffrey Owen for Andrew Davey. We pray for those who are housebound, remembering particularly today Joyce Lester. Lord, we pray that your peace and your comfort and your presence, the light of your love will shine in their lives today and every day. In Jesus' name, Amen. And we pray too for our young people here, thanking you for them and the wonderful light they are too shining out has been so evident on display and we praise you for that today and we pray particularly for all those children and young people as they return to school tomorrow be with them keep them safe and healthy we pray for their the staff and the teachers in their schools lord be with them give them all the energy they need to work be with each of them lord we thank you for them in jesus name Amen. So, as we've gone through the service, the main message has been that light is good because it means we can see. And Jesus, he's the light of the world. He's the biggest, the brightest, the best light we could ever have. If we follow him, he will lead us on the safe path through life. He will help us see things as they really are so that we aren't walking in darkness. And he will never, ever leave us. And so, on that note, it's now time for Steph with the notices. Morning, everybody. I think once we're going for the record of how many people have been involved in the service this morning, it's just wonderful, isn't it? Oh, exciting. Okay, so notices. Um, this evening we've got our um, evening service at 6.30, so you can either come to church for that or it will be on the live stream as this service this morning is. And then don't forget, if you can't watch it, you can catch up with it uh, by going to our YouTube channel later on. So that's tonight at 6.30. So this is what's been going on this week. So um, as you, if you remember last week, we said that the Fun Food Project were having a well-earned week off and they're now back up, uh, fully running again. I think they've got an, even more families have joined in this next five week session. So this is the March for the, oh, for the month of March. Um, finishing at Easter and uh, that just shows um, some of the crafts that were made this week some finger puppets which are just beautiful uh, and then the top picture is again a picture of some of our amazing volunteers and as Jean mentioned um, on the Bridgewater's Facebook page you know these people come every week regardless of what they're going through personally how whatever tough week they've had they're still there dedicated 
um, to help with the project, which is just wonderful. So a huge thank you to all our volunteers. But yeah, as I mentioned in the newsletter today, and I've meant to mention for a long time, you can keep up with where the food box is up to if, you, if you're on Facebook by going to the Bridgewaters Cafe page. Um, and there you'll be able to look back at all the amazing pictures um, and comments that have been put on there. Holy Grounds this week. Um, oh, I've not taken the congratulations. Adam bit off. Oh, Adam, we can congratulate you again. <laughs> um, so I, got, I took a screen where they, apparently they did do a poll summary, which I completely missed. But I thought this one was quite good. Look at the size of that sandwich in Alan's hands. Um, so I've got very yourself, small hands. Very small hands. <laughs> grab yourself a treat and settle down on a Wednesday if you can um, and watch them on Facebook and YouTube at 10 a.m. and see what uh, goes on this week. So Lee, so Lee have had a really busy um, few weeks. Uh, they started their Youth Alpha uh, on Thursday night, so that's for So Lee Juniors. Um, and then this other picture is from Soul Group last week. So uh, in Soul Group Seniors last week, they did some creative worship at the end of their Zoom call where they had to either draw or write about their current relationship with God. Uh, and then that followed on by a wonderful time of prayer together. And then the juniors discussed the value and significance of sharing their faith and committed to inviting friends to Youth Alpha. And we do know that, that some actually did. Uh, at the end of that call, they felt really challenged by what they'd all talked about and did actually invite the friends to Youth Alpha, which is just incredible. So well done, guys. You're doing amazing work in Soul Group. And uh, please keep that, that all our young people in your prayers. Uh, the ones you've seen this morning, the ones that haven't been able to be with us, and especially the Youth Alpha. Talking of Alpha, our Adult Alpha also started this Thursday. It's great how they're both running on the same day. Um, so that started this week, but do, please don't feel like you've missed the boat. Uh, you can still join in. So that's Thursday at 6.45. Please message me or Adam if you want the Zoom details for that. But I know, again, they had a brilliant time together. Um, and I think it's going to be a really great group that will just be able to sort of get so much out of the time they spend together on a Thursday evening. Just a quick update from Ali. So Ali is our um, CAP Life Skills Manager for CAP Lee. And uh, she just wanted to give us an update this week of where things are up to. She's been doing a course... Um, over the last few weeks called a kickstart course which is sort of focusing on where people feel they're at uh, at the moment during the pandemic it's a new course that's been put together um, so what she's going to be doing over the next few weeks is reviewing that where people felt they were at after that and whether to do a full full life schools course um, after easter or whether to do another one of these kickstart courses so please keep um, our, please keep Ali and all her volunteers in your prayers. If you something that you would be interested in, um, there's different ways you can support Ali. You can keep her in your prayers. You can send her messages to see how she's doing. Um, you can uh, offer to help to volunteer and help her with the courses and become maybe a befriender for people that are on the course um, or help actually run it. Or you can give financially. So if you'd like to help in any way at all, then please contact me um, and we can sort of See, see where you might fit um, at the moment. Just another shout out about the wellbeing journey. So this is a course um, that we might run depending on um, how many people want to do it. So if you can let me know by next Sunday or Adam, um, if you want, would like to take part in this course. Again, it's sort of fo focusing in on um, where people feel like they might just need a little bit of help at the moment. So if that's something that you might be interested in, please get in touch with me or Adam. As I said, it will be run on a Sunday afternoon at three o'clock for about an hour. Uh, and again, we'll be on Zoom. Situations vacant. Uh, this week we sort of wanted to focus on IT support as well as being our amazing vicar. Alan is also the IT support for the church. So we're just wondering if there's anybody out there that might be able to give a bit of time to really support Alan in this area. And also with our website that we're having a few difficulties with at the moment. Um, so if that's where your skills lie and you have got a bit of time and would like to um, help us in that way, then please, please get in touch with myself or Alan um, and we can, we can sort of start to look at you being able to help in that way. Uh, regarding last week's, um, when we talked about sort of doing the archiving, thank you to all those who got in contact, maybe with um, historical things about what's happened, 
um, and advice about what, what we could do with the information. Initially, we just want to do an inventory of what's in that room so that we know we can share it at the Heritage Weekend maybe um, and share it with others. But at the moment, we're not quite, even quite sure what's in there. But Daphne Gibbs has come forward to say that she's willing to help with that, which is just wonderful. Um, so after lockdown's finished, um, the first week in April after Easter, Daphne's going to come in and we're going to look at that. So if that's something that you think you might be interested in still, then please get in touch um, and we can uh, see if you and Daphne could maybe work alongside each other. Um, Isaiah 53, they've now got Easter eggs in stock. Um, so this is a Christian bookshop that we try and support that's in Bolton. And um, Alan and Judith Phillips have very kindly said that if you wanted to order Easter eggs, then they would pick them up from the Bolton shop. Um, so we're asking if you can get in touch with us by the 25th of March. If you can ring the Christian Bookshop, do your order, pay for it, then let me know and Alan and Judith will pick up your eggs for you and then we'll sort out how to get them to you after that. But if that's something that you would like to do, um, they're obviously fair trade Easter eggs, the plastic free, the palm oil free, and you'll be supporting um, our local Christian Bookshop too. Uh, Alan mentions this in the newsletter um, this week and we talked last week in the newsletter about how some of our young people had been involved in one of the sessions. So it's the Lee Town Centre Regeneration Project and this is something that we can get involved with personally. Um, so if you, I've put the link for the website in the newsletter but if you've not got that then please get in touch with me. And you can go on there, you can see what plans they've got and you can have your say. Um, the closing date is the 19th of March. So, if, you know, if, you, if you've got some real burning desires of what you'd like to see for our town centre, then now is your chance to be able to put your comments forward. Just another shout out to Sports Village Church. Um, again, please keep them in your prayers at the moment. Um, look on their Facebook page and their YouTube channel. And their service this week is going to be on Psalm 90, Psalm 90, God is Eternal. Another quick shout out to where we are, maybe not our website at the moment, uh, but YouTube channel, you can catch up with every service and everything that we've live streamed. So Holy Grounds too, you can find all those on our YouTube channel. There's also playlists on there, um, just the sermon on its own. Um, or catch up on our Facebook or Instagram pages, both ourselves and solely, and see what they're up to. And don't forget my email address for anything that you might need or any information you need to pass on to us. Has something in the service today challenged you, made you think? Is there something that's happened this week that you just feel like you just need some prayer for? Don't forget our, about our prayer ministry team. If you use Alison Davis as the initial contact, she'll been, then be able to put you in touch with whoever's uh, on the rotor for this week. So please make sure you do do that if you feel like you need prayer. And finally, congratulations. Uh, so a few weeks ago, we mentioned um, some of our amazing um, beavers who'd won uh, their award well these are our cubs and these have all won the chief scout silver award and again it's the highest level of award you can get so to be able to do that during this time of lockdown is just amazing um, so yeah well done to them uh, great work and great work with the lord's prayer as well today so have a good week everyone and i'll see you again next sunday Thanks so much, Steph. A big bravo, B-R-A-V-O, bravo to those Cubs on achieving their Chief Scout Silver Awards. Fantastic uh, achievement there. And again, thanks for your involvement in the service today. And we're going to sing and worship again um, with, uh, I think, a rather appropriate hymn, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah, which obviously reminds us of how God has guided us, guided those Israelites in the wilderness, as we heard about in the talks today, um, and guides us still today. So let us, we... We uh, perhaps want to open those windows and crank up the volume and uh, sing it out to the neighbours as well. Uh, get everybody joining in with it as we finish our service together. Thank you.
yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor and the majesty. All things come from you and of your own do we give you. And we thank you for the offering given here on the plate in church and through our lives, through our bank accounts, in so many ways. We pray that you take it and use it to help build your church, that we may see your kingdom come, your light shine across Lee as it is in heaven. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So a prayer of blessing as we come towards the end of our service now. Jesus, you are the light of the world. Keep us following you so that we never walk in darkness, but have the light of life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Well, we're removed. We've come towards the end of the service. Yes, we have. And man, it's been a great reminder uh, that Jesus is the light of the world. We really need to know that, especially in this time and just in life in general. Uh, so thanks to Sabina. She said it was good news. And to, it's been great to be reminded of that good news today by our young people in particular. Uh, you know, the next gen or the next generation uh, who are going to inherit this world and go out and... Uh, and make sure that it's known that Jesus is the light of the world. So I'm so, so happy about that, Alan. And so happy about, certainly like Steph said, so many people involved. So all you children at home, you know, you could be like these guys one day. You know, who have we got? We've Should got we get them on the screen. Yeah, get them on the screen, on the Conquer cam. There we go, there we go. give us a wave. Anna Leakey, Conquer. give us a wave, Anna. We've got Jack Murden. We've got Sabina. Uh, we've got Dylan O'Brien and Steph back there too. We've also got Daniel to the side here too. <laughs> going to try and get Daniel involved next week so you can be like these kids these these not grown-ups these grown-up young people <laughs> one day or if you just looked at some of the children that were on today you can get involved in us all-age service every month we love having everyone involved um, in our service so yeah I think these guys are great role models oh, I can't, can't forget Phoebe one of the grown-up young people as well so yeah yeah so lots of thank yous to, to offer to everybody involved the ethos group the Scout Group, brilliant job with that uh, prayer. Uh, that's on our YouTube feed as well if you want to go back and watch that and follow the sign language and everything. Uh, and, and to our techie team, I thought a special mention for our techie team because it's been uh, quite a technical service uh, today as well, hasn't it? So, uh, yes, yes, give us give a wave, Jax. Ad Adam, Adam and, and, uh, oh, 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 Adam yeah. Yeah. Oh, Adam's oh, Adam's over, over here. here. Thank, Thank you, Adam. You, Adam. <laughs> Uh, and, and Matt, Matt up there. Great, 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 great job, job guys. guys. Really, really appreciate, appreciate all, all your work on the service. I just love this Conquer Cam, can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, to our welcome team, everybody involved in, in putting the service on in church, and to, of course, Jack, Anna, Dylan, Sabina, um, Daniel, and uh, Wiramu, and Anna, and, um, and Isaac and Gareth as well. Great video those guys put, put on. Um, Xander and Emery and Phoebe. Absolutely, yeah. We're going to forget someone else. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody um, um, has done, play, played a part in the service today. Thank you so much for all your contributions. It's been amazing. Mm, loved it. So we've we'll come to the end. Just to say, uh, have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you. And to hand over to Mark, our organist, who's going to play us out at the end of the service now. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Bye, Bye for now.